Let's talk about GLP-1s and muscle mass. How the reduction might not be the actual muscle, it might be inflammation. I'm at Obesity Week in Atlanta, Georgia, sharing all the latest in research that I'm hearing and seeing. So this is a joint session about muscle loss and GLP-1s. And this first person that talked was a doctor from Korea. He did a great talk talking about how muscle loss happens and the mechanism and the mechanisms of actions of GLP-1s. So he talked a lot about inflammation. So a normal fat cell, inflamed fat cell. And when we add GLPs to inflamed fat cells, they reduce in size. Stick with me, I know I said it was about muscle. But the same thing is happening in our muscles. The inflammation, the cytokines, all the things in our muscles are being reduced over time with GLP-1 usage. So then enter Dr. Yumi Kang. She talks more about this and how we measure muscle loss, muscle mass, muscle volume, all the different ways in which we do that and how they might not be telling the whole story. So muscle mass can sometimes include bone, depending on how you define it. So she made a really clear definition that skeletal muscle mass is what we want to look at. Stick with me through these charts. So total percentage lost goes down, people lose more over time. The lean mass, the weight plateaus right around seven months for folks. And then their percentage of lean muscle goes up because there's a lower percentage of fat. The big data here is this one. This is grip strength. She measured not only the volume and size, she measured the function of the muscles. And the muscles got stronger, the grip strength got better over time, even though the mass went down. So this is really interesting research that I really enjoyed hearing. It is calling into question how we measure different things, what might actually be happening. We might think that muscle is being lost because the mass is being lost, but is functionality and strength being lost? There definitely needs to be more research and questioning into this, but it was a really thought-provoking session and talks by these two researchers. Give me a follow if you want to stay updated on all the latest news and research in the GLP-1 space, and I'll be here at Obesity Week for the entire week. As always, this is not medical advice. This is just educational content. 